King's Dominion is home to some of the best coasters on the planet. From super fast coasters to coasters that flip you upside down, King's Dominion has a little something for everyone. But what will the next big thrill machine be? Today we take a look at 10 new coasters for King's Dominion. King's Dominion is my home park. You can find me wandering the midways all the time with my trademark propeller beanie. I'm always excited to hear new rumors and discuss crazy ideas. So today, we're gonna take a dive in and check out 10 potential coasters that could be coming to King's Dominion. Let's start with what we know. King's Dominion has already pushed back the opening of Coconut Shores to the spring of 2021. Coconut Shores is a new addition to the Soak City Water Park that was slated to open in 2020, but was pushed back due to COVID. We also know that new coaster track has started arriving at King's Dominion for an unannounced 2021 project, and that's most likely been pushed back to 2022. What is the rumored coaster? It appears to be an SNS 4D spin coaster. I'm super excited about this addition. While it's not a big coaster, I love how random the flips are. It is a small footprint, but it packs a big punch. So I'm really looking forward to this new coaster. But we already know about that coaster. Let's talk about the coasters we might get. B&M is arguably the best roller coaster manufacturer on the planet. The average Cedar Fair Park has two B&M coasters and currently Kings Dominion only has one with Dominator. In 2019, after the removal of Volcano, rumors were flying around about a new B&M wing coaster coming to the park. If the rumors were true, it would have been the smallest wing coaster to date. While I'd be excited to get any B&M coaster, wing coasters are my least favorite. They look impressive, but lack in the thrills. So what does the Clint Novak probability meter say? 38% probability that King's Dominion adds this coaster in the next five years. Out of all the Cedar Fair Park, Cedar Point has been the only one to add a wind coaster, and that was in 2013 with Gatekeeper. So that's why the probability is low. Let's check out another B&M coaster. One of my favorite B&M types is the B&M Inverted Coaster. These coasters are known for their high speed direction changes and their inversions. But just one hour away in Williamsburg, Virginia, Busch Gardens already has the legendary Alpengeist. So would King's Dominion add a coaster type that already exists so close to home? Let's see what the probability meter says. 48% chance. The reason this is so high is so many other Cedar Fair Parks have an inverted coaster by B&M and the last one was added in 2014 at Kings Island. We have one more B&M coaster on the list. Almost every park in the U.S. has a hyper coaster of some kind, but that is where King's Dominion is really lacking. That mid-range, over 200-foot coaster. Some Cedar Fair parks have both a hyper coaster and giga coaster by the same manufacturer. This is also a coaster type that can be found at Busch Gardens Williamsburg with Apollo's Chariot. So what's the probability? 68%! That is a high probability. Some rumors have surfaced in the last few years that a B&M hypercoaster could go in the spot where Dinosaurs Alive used to be. I definitely would not complain if King's Dominion got a B&M hypercoaster. B&M coasters are definitely the top tier coasters and would be high on my wish list. Let's venture away from B&M and see what other manufacturers and styles could come to the midways of King's Dominion. We definitely don't have a shortage of wood coasters at KD. We have a classic out and back wood coaster with Racer 75 and more thrills coming out of the Grizzly. But there is a likelihood that we would see one of the newer styles of wood coasters join the ranks. Great Coasters International is known for its crazy track designs and its smooth rides that have changed the perception of classic wood coasters. The two closest parks to King's Dominion both have GCI Woodies, with Roar at Six Flags America and Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. 
Cedar Fair doesn't have a long track record with GCI. They have a few custom built coasters in the chain and GCI has also helped them retrack some of their older wood coasters. So let's see what that probability on the GCI Woody is. Ah, uh, 21%. Well, I think it's safe to say I don't think we'll be seeing that model anytime soon. Ah, uh, Rocky Mountain Construction. Let's face it, we love what they did with Twisted Timbers. They turned an aging wood coaster into one of the best coasters in the park. RMC is probably the fastest growing coaster manufacturer, but they don't just do hybrids. In the last few years, RMC has had a new track concept burst onto the scene with their new single rail model. This style of track really lets you move people in a way traditional steel coasters cannot. It's also worth noting that even though the 2022 project for KD is an SNS coaster, the track itself will be fabricated by RMC. So what are the odds we'll see really more coming to KD? 61%! Yes! I would love to see that style of coaster on the midways of KD. Over the last 10 years, Vekoma has been installing a very unique family coaster called the Family Boomerang. This coaster is popular overseas. It is a very cute idea and a different feel for a family coaster. Cedar Fair does have a few Vekoma coasters in their parks, but none of them I would consider popular coasters. That being said, a Family Boomerang coaster would probably not jump to the number one spot at King's Dominion. So what are the chances a new Vekoma coaster could be coming? Ah, 25%. All right. Well, not something I'm going to get excited about, but if I was walking by and it had no line, sure, I'd jump on it. In 2018, Knott's Berry Farm opened a new coaster from Gerschlauer Amusement Rides called Hang Time. This infinity coaster has a vertical lift hill and is very thrilling. But the coolest part of the coaster is its nighttime light package. Not only does the whole track light up, but it's programmable and it interacts to the train, and it really is a show in itself. I'm a huge tech nerd, so I would love to see a lighting package like this in the park. So, fingers crossed. 39%? That's it? Nah, I was hoping for a higher number. I really, really want that light package. Cedar Point is America's rockin' roller coast and is one of the best places in the world to ride roller coasters. One of the most popular coasters at the park is Maverick. Built in 2007 by Inman, this launch coaster is not breaking any height records, but its low to the ground profile packs a serious punch. While we've not seen this style of coaster by Inman in any other Cedar Fair parks, we did see a similar style coaster with Copperhead Strike at Carowinds. That coaster was built by Mac Rides, and while extremely different, it still has a Maverick style feel to it. So, let's see some good odds on a Mac or Inman launch coaster. Ah, 42%, I'll take it. After the removal of Volcano, King's Dominion really needs a coaster like this to fill its thrill gap. All right, I think we might have gotten a little desperate for coasters here. Uh, Inamin Stratocoaster? I mean, Top Thrill Dragster is one of my favorite coasters, and I would love to see something big like this at the park. But only two have been installed in the U.S. and one at a Cedar Fair park. And that being said, launch coasters that go over 100 miles an hour and shoot you over 400 feet in the air? Yeah, that would be fun. Just not likely. Yep. See, there you go, 3% chance. I think we have a better chance of Cedar Point moving Top Thrill Dragster to King's Dominion than we have a brand new Stratocoaster coming to the park. Well, we're on the last coaster of the lineup and we are back at Mac Rides with the Extreme Spin Coaster. In 2018, Silver Dollar City opened one of the first inverted spin launch coasters. It is an insane coaster that I thought would be very disorienting, but ended up being one of my favorite coasters. It truly gives you a different ride every single time you ride it. We really need to see more coasters like this in parks all over the US. 17%? Come on, give us better odds than that. 
King's Dominion, if you're listening and I have any say in the future of the park, can we talk about this, please? Well, that does it. Ten coasters that could be coming to King's Dominion. And my guess is we'll probably see a B&M hypercoaster or an RMC single rail coaster. And really, I would take any of the coasters on this list. I'm just happy when parks continue to invest in themselves and am always excited to see what's in the future.